Good morning everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to another whatever Wednesday. So basically today my team and I are we're basically just making whatever we want. So I like I said I hope you don't get sick of this because I cannot get over these little framed eyes that we just released. So I wanted to do another simple card using that. Um, so I'm using the tulip frame die again along with the stamp set that coordinates perfectly with it which, which is called springtime smiles and I'm also using my other die set I'll have a link to it on my blog but it's the mini bunny dies um, I just have the little bunny cut out already and so I figured I would just use that um, you know what I'm saying? I found it here on my desk. I just don't know where the packaging is for it, okay? So anyways, I'm using just some craft colored. This is going to be a really simple card, okay? And this is just another um, example of how easy these cards can be put together, okay? Um, so anyways, this is just a craft color card stock from Paper Tray Ink. Um, and then I have like this yellow color, also, um, also from Paper Tray Ink. And then I went ahead and I cut out the... Um, I cut this out using a shimmer white cardstock from Paper Tray Ink as well. Um, so let's go ahead, let's move this out of the way. Let's just go ahead and adhere this down really quickly. Um, let me grab my little handy dandy multimedia matte adhesive. Um, and let me just kind of, let me put some on this little piece of paper here. I just want to make sure. Because sometimes it comes out really fast at first, and I don't want to get it all over my desk. Um, so anyways, I am just going to go ahead and just quickly adhere this down. I'm not going to put it adhesive on both little lines there. I'm just going to put it on the inner line instead. So I figure save some time. And as long as that's secure, I think it definitely won't go anywhere because I'm also putting adhesive on the actual flowers as well. Because remember yesterday I actually used the same die, but I cut out the flowers because I wanted to use the frame. Um, so this time I kept the flowers in because I was dying. To, I wanted to make this for the blog hop and I didn't. I actually changed my mind. So that's why I had the little bunny cut out, which I will show you momentarily. Oh. I forgot to put some on the flowers. Just kind of put little dots here and there. Just like so. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just carefully put this on here the best I can. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, hmm, that looks about even right there. Actually. Okay, there we go. It might be a little off, but it's okay. All right, so that is that. And then we are going to go ahead and put on this adorable little bunny. I think I'm going to pop up the bunny. Why not? Let's go ahead and pop him up. Um, let me put the cover on this because I do not want this to dry out. Okay, let's go ahead and pop up the little bunny. Why not? Um, let's find some little pop dots here and I just have the tiny ones I ran out of the bigger these are my favorite ones I forget the I think it's their scrapbook adhesive um, pop dots I ran out of the big ones and it's so hard for me to find them because everybody's always sold out so I'm kind of rationing these to kind of make them last at least the smaller ones that I have left at least okay so now we're going to go ahead and put this on here. Okay, let's go ahead and just put this like so. 
super duper cute okay and then we're just gonna go ahead and use the um, sentiment just saying hello and I'm gonna go ahead and just stamp that right down there and we're gonna go ahead and just stamp it in black this time and again I'm using my favorite Ranger archival ink and I'm just gonna be in black I can see my frames a little bit crooked but you know what it's okay like I said, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so let me go ahead. I'm just kind of inking it up really good here to make sure we get a really perfect impression here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that like so. Just saying hello. Beautiful. That looks perfect. I think that's what it needed. It was looking a little plain at first and I was kind of getting a little worried but the sentiment I think is a perfect addition to it. So <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> let's go ahead and get some let's see let me let's see something for a second here you know what actually since these are not completely adhered down, I think I'm gonna pop up those flowers. That's just like a little last minute decision I just made right now. Let's go ahead and pop those up. Let me go ahead and get the little... I think it'll look cute. I'm trying to get a hold of this without, hopefully I could get this before it. Um, dries like completely ouch before it dries completely there we go actually I like that okay hopefully that was in the camera so you can see what I just did um, I'm trying to grab these little the flowers right be the little tulips right before they dry completely I'm hoping I Okay, there we go. Uh oh. Let me see. I'm trying to do this without ruining it. Let's put that like so. Now oh, it's stuck on there. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Hold on, there we go. <laughs> it was stuck to this. Oh, that looks really cute. Okay, I'm so glad I decided to do that. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do this last one. Hopefully it's not as tricky as that first one was. Let's go ahead and lift this up here. I'm just going to hold it up. Let's make it easier. There we go. Oh, that looks much, much better. Okay, now I feel better about this card. At first, I was kind of like, ooh, I'm not really 100% sure, but now I am, and I'm so happy I decided to do that. So, super, super simple, like you just saw. I just went ahead and adhered everything down, just popped up the little flower parts. I think it looks really pretty. Um, and then, I definitely, definitely want to add some sequins in here. So I'm just going to put a few of them in here. Let's go ahead and throw some. There we go. I think I'm going to go ahead and just leave that, that placement where it is. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere all of those down. Usually I just put three, but why not? kick it up a notch right and throw a little bit more on there so I'm going to go ahead and just start adhering these all down just like so try not to smear that ink okay We'll put that one like there. And then this one right here. And 
then let's just go ahead and stick this one right here like so. Okay, that should do. Now, I don't know if I want to add, do I want to add a string? Let's see, I also have some black one here as well. That might be a little too harsh, but maybe not. Let's just kind of do like a little fake bow here just to see what it would look like. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, let's try this one. I may not even put it on, put anything on. Do you know what I'm going to do to help make my decision? I think I'm just going to go ahead and adhere it down. This wasn't supposed to be a long video, everybody, so sorry if it is. Actually, I think I like this. Let's go ahead and go with this. Um, let me go ahead... We're just going to go ahead and just wrap it around here a little bit, just twice, okay? Let me go ahead and just cut this. I'm trying not to move the little sequins so they won't pop off. So I just literally glued those down. I think this this is gonna look cute. It's a little bit more subtle. The black was a little too harsh, and I just wanted to kind of do the black because of the ink. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want that to. Oopsie! I didn't want that to be too dark. All right. So this is kind of looking like a mess here, but it'll look better after I kind of play with this here. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of move this over. There we go. Oops, sorry, it's out of the camera. Shoot, okay, hold on. Alright, I just wanted to move that over so it won't be too close to the sentiment and cover it up. Okay, so now all I'm going to do which I'm not going to do it on camera because the this video is super long. I feel like it's, it's already too long for you. So what I'm going to do, I am just going to add some pop-up tape behind the card. And then it's just going to get adhered on here. Okay, now that looks cute. Okay, now I'm happy with it. All it is, I'm going to just adhere it onto the card, and that's exactly what it's going to look like. Okay, everybody? So that is it for today. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. Don't forget to head on over to my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my amazing design team has for you today. And just so you'll know, um, somebody thought the sale was over. No. Um, if you use the car, the code March 2018, which is M A R and then 2018, use that code at checkout and you will get 15% off of your entire purchase. And that's just including in stock items only. And that sale ends this Friday, March 23rd at, um, midnight Pacific standard time. So you do have a few more days left. Okay. So I just wanted to, um, throw that out there because I had a few new people thought the sale ended yes on Sunday but it didn't okay everybody so that is it everybody thank you so very much for tuning in have a fabulous day and I will see you all back here soon bye bye